So in case you were in a coma last winter, I'll let you know that there was this little event going on in Whistler called the Winter Olympic Games. Now you've already seen all the mainstream coverage on TV, so Mark Abma, Chris Rubens and I thought we'd let you know what it was like to be in Whistler at that time from the perspective of a free skier. In two words, totally awesome. Cheers. <laughs> it's party. Well, the rad thing is, everybody's in the village. Nobody's actually on the mountain. Nice, buddy. Really That's sure. an Olympic spirit right there. Of course, of course. We we one, one you have to learn. We don't like Canada because we love it. Yeah. Can I spell my name? Is this a good way to start an interview? L-A-N-D-S-B-E-R-G, first name Michael. You'll figure out how to spell it. <laughs> what would be a great day for you right now? If I was a master skier, I'd take my girlfriend up and we go down together on a beautiful day. Sun shining, stop, eat the beaver. Not sharp. <laughs> Not even the Olympics could stop the peak chair huck fest.
TV. If you like free, Solomon Ski Free TV. Or Solomon Ski TV. Is that it? Solomon Ski. Solomon Free Ski TV. Hey, we all like free Solomon Ski TV. How'd that come out? Good job, Army. Next time on Solomon Free Ski TV, we're jibbing across North America. Welcome to Wisconsin. You're watching Solomon Free Ski TV. <laughs>